This is the theodolite that I used. Uh, I'll explain a little bit about what a theodolite does. Basically, all it does is to read horizontal angles and vertical angles. That's all the theodolite basically does. Without this, none of this could have been possible. And I'll uh, make it a bit easier. Let's uh, make it a bit easier on paper. I could show you on paper a little bit of, uh, about what I was doing, and it makes it, uh, makes it easier. Here is the globe of the world. We're on the world somewhere, wanting to find out where we are. The world spins on an axis. South Pole, North Pole. Right angles to the axis is the equator. That's the equator. And the latitude lines go from like this. And the longitude lines go like this. And the line from the centre of the Earth, we're standing on the surface of the Earth here in the bush, the line from the centre of the Earth is our zenith, the point straight above our head. Now the line, at, at every star in the sky is given its position in relation to the equator. Now a line parallel with the equator from where we are, that's the equator, it's equivalent to that because it's parallel. The star is here. Now the, uh, the angle that the star makes with the equator is given in the nautical almanac. That's one of its positions in the sky. The line at, at uh, right angles to the zenith is, uh, is our horizontal line. Now, with, with the theodolite, we read this angle up to the star uh, with our theodolite. Now, the line parallel with the axis of the Earth is the, that's parallel with that, and the angle that that makes with the horizontal line is the latitude. Now that, that angle is equal to that angle there, and if we add the theodolite angle to the nautical almanac angle, we get that, take it from 90, we get that, which is that, which is the latitude. That can be expressed in degrees, minutes and seconds, giving a very accurate position in, uh, in the latitude part of it. These calculations are the actual field notes made by Lynn when he surveyed the position of the 250-mile point.